All right, so this is a strange project because we have a dry stone project coming up on an existing concrete patio. First time we've ever done this. Um, these plates, these are half inch powder coated steel plates. We've got three on this side, three on the other side. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna float dug for five and three quarter inch uh, boards off this with a dovetail design. They're gonna float and they're gonna anchor here and that's gonna be the bench. Um, our bench walls are going to go about another 20 inches and they'll be capped by granite. And then you can see right here we're bringing lighting through this whole project. So our lighting system goes down through the wall, goes over to a transformer. So this is what we're going to be building off with the lighting guys. So we just keep bringing this up through the wall. Um, over here, this is the moon gate. So that's our false form. This is a four, inch, four foot diameter. This is granite. This is granite. You can see we worked this piece, we feather and wedged it, and uh, this was inspired by uh, Mason Brian Fairfield in Maine. This is what we call our threshold through stone. So that's going to be the bottom of the moon gate, and then all the stone is going to come from inside here. You can see these ledge tails come over here. So we did this is one piece of stone, that's one piece of stone, but we can't just have a tracer stone here. That violates the, the kind of the rule. So we cut an angle here. And what's going to happen is we're going to have our hardy and all our, our, all our um, stone for the moon gate is going to come and grab this. And we're going to come up, up through here. We're going to have granite threshold, or keystone here, I should say. Same thing on the other side. When we're done, we take this thing apart. And there we go.